Hi there, my name is Shana Albert of SocialDesire.com. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Twitter as a social networking tool for your business. But what we're specifically talking about is the profile itself, how we can make it visually appealing and look more professional so that when um, others uh, do stop by your Twitter profile that they're more apt to follow you. If you're using the default avatar and or the default um, profile page, uh, it's questionable uh, whether they will follow you. That might actually be sabotaging you, and um, I'll explain why in this video. So please watch, take notes, enjoy. When you look at this profile here, uh, there's really not much that speaks professional, that speaks exciting, that most importantly speaks that you want to follow it. I mean, if, if you look at this, um, it's got the basic blue bubbly background. Um, the avatar is the default avatar. Um, it, it just it it doesn't speak. You know this this these people this company is worth following. So I'm going to show you a very easy process on how to um, you know make this look more professional just in a couple minutes. Make it more appealing to the eye. Um, which is very very important to get people to want to follow, want to listen, um, and that's just going to take a few minutes. Okay, so let's click on settings, and the first thing that pops up is account, and this is where you're going to list some more information. It's going to appear up in this um, upper right hand corner. Um, many businesses, many people kind of skip that, but I would really advise against it, especially if you're using this for business purposes, because this is where you're going to be able to um, put a link in here so that people uh, will know a website where they can, you know, find out more information about you. So uh, here where it says more info URL, stick your um, URL of the business that you would like it to be directed to. So I'm going to copy this ABC Home Preschool. I'm going to stick it in here. I'm going to paste it right there. One line bio. Um, again, this is, it could only be 160 characters, so it has to be short and sweet, which is fine because people aren't going to take that much time, um, you know, to read it. Just something small that they'll remember. Home Preschool Curriculums. Location, um, you know, I don't know, I don't have a retail store, I, my um, business is an e-commerce site, however, you know, I want to put some kind of location in here, um, if you had an actual store, a physical place, you could put that, um, maybe you feel a little bit uncomfortable, then maybe you could just put your city, I'm going to put Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, USA. Oops. Okay, language English. Um, you can change that to whatever you know your choice here is. I'm going to put English. You could choose to protect your updates. I am not going to do that since this is for a business. I want other people to be able to see it. Some people protect their updates for purposes of you know uh, maybe this is just for family so they don't want others to see it and this way if it's protected they would have to get your permission and you would have to approve it so let's save this and um, just to show you so far what that looks like you can go back up to profile and you can see it has you know this little bit of information here let's click back on settings again this time going to picture. We are going to get rid of this default avatar, this ugly brown and blue. This is the default. It tells people in my mind that, you know, you're, you're not really taking the community seriously. And, and maybe these people that have this avatar are brand new and just don't know any better. But, you know, as a company, first of all, you don't want to be known as, you know, new and, and don't know how to do things better. Second of all, you want to be um, a member of the community and in order to do that you've got to show your face or your company or something about you. So we're going to change this. We're going to put, um, I'm going to use something from my header that tells a little bit about my company. Uh, you could use your face if you'd rather, um, something maybe um, more cartoon-like, something that, you know, 
makes people notice. That's up to you. In my mind, um, this is going to be for my business, so I'm going to use something that should um, remind people of ABC Home Preschool. So I set that. I'm hitting save. Let's see what happens here. Okay, and there you see it worked. That's wonderful. Um, we could go back to profile and make sure that that is the case. You can see it there, a cute little girl with a book. And that's perfect because if you go to my website, you'll see that perfect, that cute little girl right here. That's exactly in my mind what I want. I want something that says something about my company. Again, you could use your face, you could use, um, you know, a picture of something from your sites, one of your products, uh, a company logo, that's up to you. This is what I chose. Now, notice the, the blue background, that's default. Not that that's bad, um, it's not bad, but I, I want to make it look something more like my company, something that when people come to my Twitter profile, <clears throat> it, some, it stands out. Okay, so now let's go, we're going to change the um, background of our profile. We're going to go to design. And what's really cool, you can see um, Twitter has come up with some of their own themes here, and some of them are really cool. Uh, there's a purple star kind of theme. There's this really cool, I like that, brown with some green uh, leaves and, and branches. Uh, there's this pink kind of uh, florally one. That's really cool too. That's cute. So you can choose uh, one of them. You could even do some changes here. You can see how um, the flowers, let's, let's do the purple starry one. You see how there's stars all over this, um, the background. You could even choose uh, that you like the purple. You're not crazy about the stars. You could say don't use background image and then it's just purple. Isn't that cool? Um, you could choose that you like the stars, but you'd rather uh, it just be on the upper left-hand corner. You see the rest of this is plain purple, um, but the stars are just on the upper left. And the reason is, is because you could choose to tile the background, which means that it'll be repeated. And you can see uh, the whole page is full of purple stars. So you could choose that you just like the purple, um, or you know you could have the purple stars. Um, you could even choose to change the design colors altogether. Um, you know, like maybe um, you know you don't want to use that background image. You want to change the colors to um, background. Maybe you want yellow. That's not even quite yellow, is it? Um, or orangey, or red, or fuchsia. You can kind of play around with things. You could change the text. You could change the links to red or maybe fuchsia, you see that, or yellow, you see that? Oh, very cool. So you could have a lot of fun. There's the sidebar border here. Um, oh, you could have a lot of fun. Now, especially for businesses, this is really cool. Um, as much fun as you could do with this with the, the basic colors, and that would be great. You could also, if you, let's say you had a certain uh, logo or picture or something you wanted on the background, you could choose to do that too. Um, for example, I would like to have my ABC Home Preschool header. So let's open that and um, let's press save. Okay, and you see that? I have uh, chosen to have it tiled, so you can see that it repeats itself over and over again. We can go to profile so you can get a better look at that. Um, you know, I'm not sure the yellow links that I used is the, the best. You can see that's kind of hard to see, but you know, I could easily change that. But you see how cool? I, I like this because, you know, it has ABC Home Preschool over and over again. You know, you could choose, I could totally just have it on this upper left left hand corner and remember um, to do that let's go back to design um, we would just go to change background image I would choose to untick the tile background and it would just be in the upper left hand corner but you can see then I'd have to resize it which would be fine I could resize it so it'll just be a smaller one in this upper left hand corner so it appears before the Twitter um, but I really dig the repeating um, kind like that 
save. I dig that a lot. Um, so you can see what a difference this has uh, made, at least for my, my profile for Twitter. Um, it no longer has the default image. It no longer is the boring blue background. I love this. I love, love, love this. And you can see that only took a couple of minutes. So, you know, um, go, go into your Twitter profile, go into settings, have some fun, make some changes, add some links, come back again. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video. Come back for future videos on tips and how-to for social media and business. Thank you so much. Shana Albert of SocialDesire.com. Thank you.